what is up everybody it is Wednesday afternoon and we have arrived at Suzuka circuit this legendary track um, I got to drive here for the first time around five years ago in F3 Asia and now I am back here racing in GT World Challenge and I am so excited to be getting behind the wheel tomorrow for paid practice. Um, we have a three hour session and uh, we have to share the car uh, between Tanat and I. But I'm really excited considering also the fact that I've been here before. I'm feeling a bit more confident uh, over uh, my track time that I had spent in Fuji so I kind of have an understanding of how to drive this circuit and I've studied a lot of onboards and of course I spent some time on the simulator as well um, so I'm really excited to hit the circuit tomorrow but we will see how things go so today basically we had signing on uh, where we kind of do formalities and just admin stuff and in about an hour we are going to be going for a run around Suzuka circuit uh, just to kind of you know get everyone ready for the weekend all warmed up and uh, also kind of combine it with a track walk so we get to see if there's been any changes since the last time we've been here uh, I am really really excited for the weekend to start uh, everyone's getting ready the team is getting ready and um, yeah just in general the vibes are good the weather's looking a lot more predictable this week so that's of, of course uh, a nice positive to have uh, so that's definitely kind of uh, something where we don't really have to think about so much um, and yeah so uh, overall feeling pretty good so just something I feel something I think I do also want to just let everybody know is that during the editing process for the Fuji vlog I kind of messed up and I ended up accidentally deleting all the source footage in the middle of my edit just before I had finished it basically the entire edit went to shit and um, I didn't have any backup footage because I had cleared the SD card on my camera by then so we don't have anything from Fuji unfortunately uh, so I I deeply apologize for this um, but I am sure that the Suzuka content will be pretty exciting overall and um, I also want to do something a little bit different this time uh, so far I've always focused on content that is at the racetrack but this time I will try to do a little bit more of the kind of behind the scenes stuff where like at the hotel or from dinner or something like that uh, you know just to kind of change up the style of content a little bit because I also don't want this channel to get too repetitive so stay tuned for that that's going to be quite uh, quite insightful or I'm sure that'll be quite interesting for people so uh, yeah that's about it and um, cool excited to get the weekend started <laughs> Shirley's giving ice cream. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I'm uh, on diet. Yeah. Too much. Too much already. Nice. Hello. Ice cream moment. Ice cream moment. Yeah. If, if we had ice cream in in Fuji, it would be too cold. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, everyone. Right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we are currently in our hotel um, so completing all the formalities at the circuit we uh, had a run around around Suzuka which was which was nice uh, I don't really enjoy running but I'm trying to get into it I'm just glad I made it happen um, but I thought I'll just quickly show you guys what the hotel room is like for this weekend I, I haven't really done this before um, this is our hotel for this weekend and it's actually pretty much it 
but um, this is where I'll be resting up for uh, for the next few days at the end of the week, at the end of the at the end of the day. But um, yeah, so you know, I'm just doing my laundry after after the workout, after the run. It's just in there, but pretty much this is it. Um, but yeah, it's the little pad for this week. Um, I'll show you guys the view real quick. Actually, it's quite nice to be honest. Yeah, Japan is beautiful. I love, I absolutely love coming here to go racing. Um, but it is dinner time and I thought I'll take the opportunity and bring you guys along uh, for uh, dinner. Myself, Tanat, uh, Aaron, Alessio, uh, and I don't know who else might be joining. I think Roman is joining as well. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's get going. Post dinner shenanigans. Uh, <laughs> looks like we are currently in an arcade because Tanak wants to play uh, uh, with the claws. I don't know what else to call them, so I'm going to call them the claws. But yeah, we're here now, and uh, we're just looking for. Congratulations, Tano. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Fresh from a uh, spa podium. Yeah. Straight. <laughs> wow. That was so fun. And just like that, dinner has been consumed. Uh, I am very satisfied and also very, very tired. As you can probably tell with my voice, I am so ready for bed. Uh, we have a bit of a slow start tomorrow morning but the plan is to have breakfast at the hotel and then head out to get some coffee and then we will head to the circuit so I will catch you guys in the morning uh, yeah see you guys in a bit
bowling. Good afternoon from Suzuka Circuit. It is Thursday and we are just about to start uh, the paid practices today. Just like the Fuji schedule, we have three hours worth of driving happening. Um, and basically, uh, Tanat, as far as I know, is going to be starting the session. I haven't been able to speak to Alberto just yet and see what the run plan is. But I am very excited to be driving on this circuit again. It's been about five years uh, since I've been here and um, yeah so it's now 1 p.m. I believe our session starts at about 2.30 as you can see I've already got dressed uh, to go out and um, yeah pretty excited to start driving it's gonna be fun and how are we feeling? We are getting ready for the paid practice on Yes, Thursday. sir. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Shirley's walking away. Camera shy. <laughs> Camera shy. First session. Have fun. <laughs> So we are just moments away from starting paid practice and as you can see everyone is starting to line up. Anthony is right there. But uh, yeah, we're just about to start in the next couple of minutes so let's rock and roll. the end of paid practice uh, in the end I managed to get quite a few laps in even with the dry conditions so I'm pretty pretty happy about that um, it was quite tricky I would say uh, with the changing conditions and also we had I think two or three red flags throughout the day which kind of derailed the testing we could do with new tires but in the end, I believe we have some good data to help us progress throughout the weekend. Uh, Tanat's in the car at the moment, but the session is almost finished. And I don't know if you guys can hear the cars go out, but... We are now going to sit down, do a debrief, and then prepare for tomorrow, where we have some housekeeping and probably some used tire testing. But I'm sure it'll be an interesting day. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. What is up, everybody? It is Friday, 
morning bright and sunny today as you can see the weather is absolutely beautiful and today is official practice we are going to be driving uh, to do long run testing for the race to check our setup and then in the second session I believe we have some housekeeping work to do so just brake bedding uh, discs and pads and also a little bit of driver change practice today towards the end of the first session but let's get the POV started and take you guys on a ride along so let's get going
hope everyone enjoyed the POV from yesterday uh, around Suzuka. Um, I'm enjoying every lap that I get to do here, even though you know on Thursday we had some tricky conditions, but still, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm very grateful that I get to be able to come out here on tour like this and I can drive on all these legendary circuits. It's really an amazing feeling and I'm also very very happy that I get to share it with all of you. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it is now Saturday morning so we have qualifying in about half an hour, uh, just under a half an hour and it is another beautiful day out here in Suzuka and we have race one later on today as well so I am driver 2 this weekend which means I will be I will be doing Q2 and I will be starting race 2 and uh, Q1 will be by Tanat and and he will start race 1 and I will jump in the car after the pit stop so really keen to see how things go for us today uh, of course, I'm really excited to be racing here again and uh, just overall, hopefully things go smoothly for us and we have another strong weekend. So, really looking forward to it and uh, hope you guys enjoy. So, we have concluded qualifying and we are P10 and P21 respectively after Q1 and Q2. Tanat did a good job in his in his uh, in his poly run, and we'll start race one in P10. Uh, race two, uh, I will be starting from P21, uh, and I'm actually on the way to the grid. It is grid walk time in Japan, and if you guys don't know what that means, it means that all the fans that are here this weekend get to walk amongst all the race cars so fun and exciting is on pole position for race one here this weekend so let's go wish him good luck good luck man proud of you man good job <laughs> Feeling Alberto? Good. Always good. good. We're feeling fast. Feeling fast. Feeling fast. <laughs> Always. How are we feeling, Nicole? All good. All good. Nice. How are we feeling? <laughs> Hot. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> It is it is very hot today although the weather is nice it is very very hot It really is it really is pretty hot out here today um, But we're getting close to the start of the race now uh, We need to start clearing the main straight as you can probably see everyone is walking back at the moment So it's time for us to clear the grid. Let's give Tanat one last fist bump Good luck, bro. 
And now it's all up to him. Fingers crossed for a smooth race. Just about to be tucked away into the pit in. There it is. So two by two is the formation required. Akash Nandi on the inside. James Yu, his teammate, said he was nervous. Let's hope he can get it right. The more experienced Frankie Chang alongside. What a fabulous sight. Race one here at Suzuka, waiting for the lights on the gantry to go green. Can't overtake for the start finish line. It's a long hold, long hold, long hold. People ducking out of position. Now we're accelerating. Frankie Chang's got his nose immediately in front and blocks off Akash Nandi to say, no, no, I'm in front. Do not challenge me. In behind is grid formation fairly much being held, but that was a great start from uh, Frankie Chen Kong Fu. Can he do what he did in the first race and make good his escape? He started that one first. This time he started from second. It matters not. He's got to the front of the queue. Job well done. Bob Yuan popping into third place or staying in third place. And Hirobon in the Nissan tucked in behind. And uh, looks as though it's been a good start from Anthony Liu. He's going to need that because, of course, we know he's got the problem with the extra time at the pit stop. It does look as though we are seen the lights or any message the pit window is open so he goes on for another lap but that's fine one lap behind the safety car you can come in so Frankie Cheng comes through anybody else who stays on the track they don't want to be there because they'll have to run at safety car pace so everybody but everybody has to come in this lap this will be a major own goal for anyone who continues on the circuit and I don't think a single person has so we'll have 32 cars in the pit lane hopefully if we into the Fufazak's Porsche has been pushed into the pit garage but it's going to be hyper hyper busy and also remember there is a minimum pit stop time a few cars couldn't even find their positions there as they were jinking around team lollipops held by other mechanics so Hirobon is going to be getting out Yu Kanemaru will be t uh, taking over from him in the Nissan that came in from third position overall Fogas Motorsport in for their stop with their Porsche driver out two drivers don't get out there are two drivers driving solo it doesn't mean their pit stop can be any quicker they still have to stick to the minimum time so just remember the order before the pit stop Frankie Chen Kung Fu car number 36 Akash Nandi second car number 41 both silver driver lineups in Audis and third place was Hirobon in the Nissan number 500 will that be the order afterwards don't forget though it's unlikely because Frankie Chen car number 36 will still be sitting there for five seconds longer than its immediate rivals. And likewise, the car that came in from fifth for Anthony Liu will have 15 seconds extra. Anthony Liu's car, yellow and red, right at the front of the queue, front left corner of your screen. But Hirobon looks as though he's the driver leading out. He's uh, now just looking to see where Akash Nandi's car is. It's about seventh or eighth position. That is being handed over to James Yu. That must have got blocked in the pits. That didn't have success penalty. That's been a disaster for them. Anthony Liu has just uh, rejoined, his 15 seconds taken up. There he is, yellow and red, number one on the nose. The driver behind can't anticipate when you're going. Be sure you're clear to get into the Casio Triangle without them too close and then accelerate as Kanemaru is doing out of the final corner down the start finish straight. Right, 26 minutes to go in this one hour race. The pit stops all behind us and hopefully the safety car appears well. Some real gaggles of cars coming out of the final corner in the background of your shot. Rumbling down to the first turn down and down and the oh, Harmony Ferrari with Rover Oil sponsorship uh, getting a little bit busy on the run down the hill into turn one about to pick up a place off Mineki Akura perhaps the Ferrari though is on the outside line for the S's that tends to lead to gravel but well Mineki Akura sort of kept out of the way there so still got the chicane to go through but it's all about the exit from the chicane and certainly there's plenty of punch from the this as it goes down the slope, but oh, it's a good exit from the corner from Leo Yi Hong Lee, close enough to get a toe down the straight. And a sense Lauren Heinrich almost getting a double toe in third place. Adelie Fong dropped a tiny bit in his Audi, and he's got Mikel Grenier all over his side. <laughs> looking inside, looking outside, neither of those moves serious. And Yu Kanemaru had it covered. And now Lauren Heinrich attacking in third place. Adelie Fong getting a bit close to them in the background, but I think the storm has been weathered for the first half of the lap, of le at least by Yukanabaru. That is really most unusual to have your door pivoted like that. Uh, lots of drivers with stories to tell. Each Pires did a good job to uh, get the 9-11 up into seventh place overall. So much happening in those closing laps. And Sri Lankan driver 
you know, threading the eye of the needle, I would suggest, to, to get up into those positions. Could have been a, could have been a winner. So just waiting for third place in class. Adelie Fong. What it could have been for them spun around as they just moved into third place overall. Another Audi crew, James Yu. Coming out for number 41 entry. James Yu and Akash Nandu started from pole, but uh, to the top step, silver winners. 9-11, that's the entry for Tanat Sati and Tiracol and Ishan Pires from Absolute Racing with their porter, seventh overall. Do really feel for Adley Fong, just got up into that third place. And, oh, third place overall, not third place in class. And uh, probably would have come home in third place overall, but was spun around uh, by Leo Yi Hong Lee and ended up, as one said, uh, down in 14th position overall. Disappointing for them, but they've shown they've got the pace. They won the opening race of the season here at Frankie Chen Kong Fu, but today luck was not riding theirs. Fishan Pires and Tanat Sati and Thirical, though, the smiles are big, the smiles are genuine. They are the silver class winners. Uh, for Marcus Wink Winkelhock, just another podium position for him. So he gathers them by the hundred with uh, Ruhan Huang alongside. Second in the entry. Sorry, I just want to correct myself. Of course, second in the silver class was not Marcus Winkelhock. I've gone completely bad. It's James Yu who can't get the top off his bottle. And Akash Nandi, they deserve better. I really did feel for them. They got blocked in the pits and uh, lost them in so many positions. That concludes race one of GD World Challenge Asia in Suzuka this weekend. And thankfully, we have another class win. And this is a great result for the championship. Uh, we extend our lead slightly. So this is uh, definitely a good day. I think we also got a little bit lucky with some of the things that happened in the middle of the race, especially towards the end. But so it was very, very tough. I think with the, with the handling of our car overall. Uh, but you know, in the end, the team delivered. We delivered as drivers as well. And this is the result we have to show for it. So overall, just super happy. Uh, definitely letting letting uh, myself enjoy this win and hopefully we can push hard again tomorrow and extract another good result for the championship so on to tomorrow China is so cute <laughs> What is up everybody? It is Sunday morning. Uh, we are going to be starting race 2 shortly. Uh, I'll be starting the race from P21. Uh, a little bit further back today, but uh, we've had a good result yesterday. And we have a strong position in the championship as well. So I think the priority today is to have a clean race, uh, manage the risk. Of course, if there's an opportunity for a position, we will take it. But overall, it's important that we finish the race today in a good position with good points for the championship, considering we have now completed 50% of GT World Challenge Asia. Uh, and the next race weekend in Okayama will be round five. So, uh, pressure is on to start well, uh, but I'm excited, of course, as always, to go racing. Uh, and again, to be here in Suzuka as well, it's uh, always a nice place. Uh, and racing in Japan is always special. So, let's, uh, yeah, go get dressed, suit up, and head to the grid in about, I want to say, 15 minutes. So, hope you guys enjoy.
what is up everybody it is currently 12 in the afternoon and I am at the moment in Osaka so the weekend was a good a good weekend overall I think we managed to extract some strong results from the race and uh, as you all probably know already based on the vlog we managed to get on the podium on both the races over the weekend so we have a good Hall of points uh, in the championship as well uh, so I am currently in Osaka I have six hours before I plan on heading to the airport uh, I've had to check out of my hotel because they don't have a good option for me where I can keep my room till evening today so I am currently without a base I've kept all my luggage in the hotel and Basically, I plan on spending the next six hours of my day exploring Osaka and everything Osaka has to offer. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching the vlog this week. Uh, if you like the content, like and subscribe to follow along my racing journey. But yeah, so I'll see you guys at the next one. We'll be racing in Okayama in a few weeks time. Uh, this will be in August. Really looking forward to it. Of course, like I always say, it's really special to be racing in Japan. I uh, love the vibes coming here, so yeah, looking uh, looking forward to it and we have a few weeks off in Sri Lanka, which I'm also excited about. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned, like, subscribe to follow along with the journey. Thanks for watching.